Hey, what's up with y'all out there? It's your boy, Real Island Boy, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. Facebook, all of it at the same damn time. Make sure you follow me on all the social media platforms. But guess what I just finished watching? Little Woman Atlanta Season 3 Reunion Part 2. And I'm telling you, these bitches, they brought it. When I say they brought it, they brought it in all the glory. And I said to you, that I might even need no cocktail for tonight's re um, reunion recap because these little women, they, they are hype. I don't know what they're drinking in their cocktail or their tea, but I said tonight they brought it. I was like, Ooh, excuse me. So remember last part one, we saw the tiny, sorry, we saw um, Ibera and Money going at it because Money was there throwing, sorry, um, Minnie was throwing money at Iberia and Redditor and Iberia was like, bitch, um, don't, what's it, what's that called? Buck if you're tough, whatever. Iberia was like, bitch, if you want something, come get it. So Iberia was ready to F Minnie up. And she and Minnie start going at it. Luckily, they had security right there. As soon as they started that dumb shit, security jumped in and part of that fight, which I love that they did that. Um... But can we talk about how Tammy needs a chill pill, which is Minnie's mom? Tammy needs a chill pill. I'm telling you, she, st she stay getting into um, Minnie's fights and arguments. Like, lady, you are her mother. Minnie is 30 plus years old. You need to chill and let Minnie fight her own battles. I'm tired of always seeing um, Tammy chiming in and want to jump everybody who comes at Minnie. Like, really, Tammy? I tell you, I'll take me a little mini break because I need to make me a damn cocktail. I just made um, some peach juice, watermelon plucker, and vodka because I needed a cocktail. I thought I would need a cocktail because <laughs> I was good. But after that damn fight with Ibera and Mini, I needed me a little sippy. Let me tell you how... You know, the fight broke up eventually and Tara, the host, executive producer also, calmed these bitches down. And then Iberia went to go to the bathroom and chill and whatever. There goes Minnie's mom in the back, Tammy, throwing water or trying to throw water at um, Iberia. Guess what we caught? It caught money. I'm like, this lady has no chill. They had the actors to get her shit and she, she got a taxi or cab to take her home. And eventually, I guess they thought it was no safe to have Abira there anymore. Also, they had so had Abira pack her stuff and left. When I told you that Abira was pissed, I would have been pissed too because this is Little Woman Atlanta reunion, and time is nowhere in the credits or in the damn cast. Why she needs to be the only mother or parent chiming in every time her daughter gets into an argument with the other castmates. I think that's a no-no. Damn, Tammy, you're a damn bully. You need to chill. It's called Little Woman, not Average Size Woman, Atlanta. Why you need to be in every scene or everything that's going on with Minnie? I'm so confused. But anyway, enough of damn Tammy. She gets on my damn nerves. Let's move along. So they brought up Jordan. You know, Jordan is um, Amanda's boyfriend. And if you all know that Amanda and Jordan was having issues I didn't really know until tonight so um Amanda which is one of the tiny twins is dead in Jordan you know the the tall giant looking white dude um they've been in for two years and I never knew that they had a hiccup in their, in their relationship they had a two-week break and when um Tara asked them why the hell they broke up they said that she said to Amanda that she broke it off with Jordan for two weeks or whatever. And I think it was got some kind of cheating thing. She didn't say. Or they didn't both didn't give details about how the cheating thing happened. But they said it was cheating. You know um, how these people like to be so vague. Keep it real. It's, a, it's called reality TV show. We don't want to hear you giving half ass stories. Please keep it real. So anyway. We didn't even get much about that cheaterization story with Jordan and Amanda, but 
they brought on Chris. I'm like, this dude has not been on, episode, on, a, on, on a few episodes well. I'm like, where was this dude at? But he came out of nowhere tonight for the reunion in his pink polo shirt. How you doing? Anyway, coming here talking about um, how Amanda, sorry, Amanda and Andrea's parents don't like him and that's one of the big reasons. Yeah, probably don't like it because of how you treat their daughter. Even her own sister Amanda said is the reason why how you treat Amanda, sorry, Andrea. You're not there for the, um, for the first baby, you're not there for the second baby, and you keep on meeting out of the life of your so-called girlfriend. Now Amanda's talking about she they're working on their relationship and it's their mother and father's coming to, in between where they can't, you know, have our okay relationship. I'm like, I don't know about this Amanda and um sorry. Andrea and Chris. Shit that's going on. I'm so overrated. But what can we do and then just watch this drama unfold? Um money baby daddy came out tonight too. Um I think his name is Derek and you know they have a son called D2 which is Derek Jr. And I'm telling you that dude is so unfair. When I say unfair Unfair with a capital U. U N F A I R. I'm like, this dude is unfair. I guess he told money that, you know, she must she must have been on the path where she was just doing the most and was not doing what she needed to do as a mother. Tell her, hey girl, get your shit together. And when you get your shit together, then your son can come and live back with you. Now she's, you know, working. Obviously, she's on a hit show. And she making money, and I guess she's improving her attitude. Now he telling her that he does she he don't know what he don't know if he can let the son come live back with her. I'm like, dude, stop flip flopping. He then he gonna say also that the child is eleven years old, and because the child is eleven years old at this stage in his life, he needs to be with his father. Hold the hell up. For the last 30 something years that I've lived on this earth, I never had a father that was consistent in my life where I was going between either. His house, my mom's house, his house, my mom's house. I was between my mom's house and my mom's house only. I see him on the regular sometimes, but that didn't make me any lesser, any lesser of a male or a lesser of a man. So I'm not sure why he's acting like if the child is raised at this age with his mother or by his mother, and then the child would not be an okay male. Don't do it. There's a lot of single family out there where children are raised by one parent, either by male or female, and they just be okay. So the fact that you're trying to make it seem like if money raised a child at this age by herself or, you know, going between you and her, that he's going to have issues or something like that or whatever you're implying, I don't dig that. So don't try to keep the mother away from her child. I, I like the fact that you said that, you know, he needs to learn some certain stuff at this age from his father, which is true. But don't keep the child from his mother. Y'all need to have either a range of um, visitation where the child is either with the father and, and um, at, you know, every holidays and every summer and the mother equal to school wherever the mom lives and something like that. But y'all need to work that shit out because this child is getting to almost close to being a teenager. It's not fair. Um, then the tiny twins. Where are these tiny twins going? Are they going to go anywhere? Are they still together? I don't damn know. I wish the hell that Andrea had stayed in town and working shit out with her sister, but she's running behind Chris, obviously, the boyfriend. I think it's Hispanic. And they start arguing about um, Chris taking um, Andrea away from her and her family and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh God, here we go with this argument again. While they're there arguing, guess who's drinking? Miss Juicy, baby. She be there having, you know, she have her little bling bling flask. And she's like, you know, let me just have me a sip while this drama unfold because it's not about me this time. Let me just watch these damn girls argue their shit out while I sip my cocktail. Let me sip some of my cocktail. And I'm drinking some um, watermelon plucker, peach juice, and vodka, obviously. I had to get me a drink after watching that reunion. Um... As I said before, I don't know where the Tiny Twins are going at this one. At this stage, right now, I see they're split apart. I'm not sure how they're going to keep on making an income because, you know, they are known to be a brand, Tiny Twins. So, I don't know if they're going to keep on hustling together or apart or what's going to happen. But 
We'll see next season because they got picked up for a fourth season. So I guess we're going to see more of the Tiny Twins. But before we see more of the Tiny Twins and Little Woman Atlanta for season four, guess what? My girl, Miss Money, is getting her wedding special. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. So Money's getting a four-part wedding special on Lifetime. It's called Little Woman Atlanta, colon, Money Gets Married. And guess where Money Getting Married at? In beautiful Jamaica, one love, one heart, let's get together and feel all right. Yes, yeah, you're going to get married in Jamaica, and I can't wait to watch. So guess what? Make sure you tune in and lock it here on Rest the Boy TV, because guess what? I am going to be rep reporting live from Rest the Boy TV every week, starting next week for Money's wedding special here on my channel so follow me on social media all of them real island boy and don't forget to subscribe here on my channel on youtube i'm gone this reading was over and i'm done with it oh, mm. see y'all next year for my wedding special bye